right, all right, all right. God. I need to drill a hole in this. I gotta go to the basement. I gotta drill a hole in that. I need to open two packages. This was shoved in my mailbox. These are, you know what the ultras look like. That's fine. Uh, I promise pasta I will not use this knife. Of course, she can't link it because I got it at a hardware store. But look at that. You unscrew the cap off the bottom and it's, it twists and you can just access to blades. I just feel like this is a good like. Like in the UK, this is basically, you could take over the country, one of these. Um, oh, it's so sharp. Just a brand new, you know pasta can link? Razor blades pasta, just the, the ones that look like, that they're like, just link razor blades, baby. They're so sharp. My book is here, oh shit. I forgot I bought this. So, um, we watched a movie night. The Hunt for Red October came on. And everyone was like discussing uh, Michael Crichton novels and which ones are good and bad. And I'm sorry, Tom Clancy, not Michael Crichton. Well, we discussed everyone. But this is a first pressing, um, first printing, I guess. Tom Clancy, Naval Institute Press, Annapolis, Maryland. And yeah, copyright 1984. This is fucking brand new. Um, I got this for $25 plus shipping. I don't even read. The reason I bought this is because books in this shape that were part of the, um, the library master club or some shit on the site that I bought it from, which was, hold on. Where did I buy this from? Biblio, pasta, link biblio.com, B-I-B-L-I-O.com. The signed copies of these, which apparently he like, he signed like every one of the first edition copies, like a bunch of them, if you were in the club, were like anywhere from 1500 to $3,000. And every one of them was like one of those club ones. And they were all $1,500, $3,000, except for this one that was just sitting there for 25 bucks. And I'm like, well, shit, I'll take a first print of one of my favorite, honestly, one of my favorite movies. And but let's just go to a scene. Let's just spoil some part of this movie. How long did you two characters rehearse this? General Maxwell Commandant in the Marine Corps asked the operational officer. Everyone chuckled. The Red October. Chief Engineer Melikin cleared the reactor compartment before beginning the check for the leak. Ramius and Petrov were also were there also, plus the engineering duty officer and one of the younger lieutenants, Sidzvdov. Three of the officers carried wow, carried Geiger counters. This is a, this is thick. I might let my brother borrow this, cause he's he's gotten into reading and he loves like reading books on movies, Starship Troopers, Jurassic Park. So that that that's special, cause it's a first printing. Let's see what the actual cover looks like. Oh, it's just a red October. Oh. I hate that they have to keep these on there because I hate the fucking book cover protectors because that's like, it's like if you keep things wrapped in the plastic and I'm like, well, why the fuck would you want to do that? But apparently you have to keep it or it's not worth anything. If I take this off and throw it away and just keep that beautiful, let me see what the spine looks like. It's like, it's the same thing with vinyl. It's like with vinyl. It's like if you take the plastic off the, the vinyl record, if you take it just completely off and just have the beautiful cover, you've ruined it. And I fucking hate that shit. This is very heavy. Oh, this must be the beads. I got some beads for my pleasure. I, I may have to open boxes with this thing because it's fucking so sharp. Like this is, I'm gonna have to just change the blade out my other thing. Wow, these are smaller than I thought they'd, this is both bigger and smaller than I thought it would be. This is roly-poly glass beads made in the USA for weighted blankets and crafts, 10 pounds. And this 10 pound fuck you thing, um, I'm gonna take, since it's glass, it's an insulated thing. So you can pour this on top of electronics and it won't affect anything. At least it shouldn't. I'll make sure it's nice and clean and blown out. Um, my plan is for any pieces of electronics that I wanna use, 
that like involves being on my desk. Like I got that Skedra switch box for the headphones, right? It's got the big fucking knob and you plug your headphones into it and it's got the three leads that come up for different amplifiers. Problem is it's an aluminum box, but th that's it. There's nothing in it. So as long as these don't get into the mechanism where the switching is taking place, or I could just put in a fucking condom and just drop beads inside that unit and it'll weigh it down. I'm just, I bought 10 pounds. If I could put half a pound of beads inside that box, when I plug a headphone in, it probably wouldn't slide back on the desk or anything. I was thinking these were bigger too. These are very, you know. oh God, it's open. Oh, Jesus Christ, it opened. I did a bad thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. The whole bag just, 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 mm, just opened. I hear sounds. What is it doing? They're like floating in the midair. That's fucking weird from static, probably. Okay, well, I guess I shouldn't have been, been, okay. Please don't drop this on the floor. Please don't drop this on the floor. Well, now, uh, Daddy Zeos has to go get his vacuum. Here, Pasta, you wanna link something in the fucking description? Link the Dyson car V6. V6 car and boat. Many a times on the live stream this has come out. I could try to salvage some of this, which since I paid like $45 for it. Wow, they are perfect little ball bearings. Oh God. Oh God, there's so many of them. Look how many there are. Yeah, I gotta try to save a couple of these. They're everywhere. Oh my God, they rolled completely. They're not like misshapen, so they won't roll. They just, they must be all over the floor too. Unintentional, this was an unintentional failure. Holy God. It's like physical water. This is fucking weird. Okay. I'm not gonna vacuum that up yet. First thing I'm gonna do, I need a container or a tray or something. Are you clean? What will you? No food in that, okay. Um, this is exciting, this is the exciting part, boys and girls. I need it like that, I have a piece of paper. <clears throat> Why am I choking like I feel like there's one in my throat already, that's fucked up. This is too thin. Um, Fuck it. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fold this piece of paper backwards. I just wanna try to get as many of these onto this paper as possible. God, there's so many of them. There's thousands of them. Oh, God. No, 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 calm. I guess be careful. I'm allergic to fucking up. I'm, I'm, I'm allergic to it. So I can't risk sucking them up and then dumping them out of the vacuum because that's such a chance that I'll get a piece of random dirt and then I'll pour that piece of random dirt into my electronics. This is just, like, there's a piece of, there's definitely a piece of food right there. I got it, okay. It was a piece of like cardboard. The rest of this, I might be able to just like vacuum. Wow, that is like weird. What was this for? What did they say it was for? For Is this what's in my goddamn weighted blanket? Could you imagine if one of those ripped? Down. Shake this out, I gotta squeeze it like that. Get it as close to the surface as possible. It's good, I'm showing you how to deal with this when it happens to you. Oh, they're so small. Ah! That is so fucking gnarly. That is some gnarly ass stuff. Wow, if you just went to someone's house with this $40 bag of fucking beads and just like, I'm pretty sure a vacuum cleaner is not gonna pick that out of your rug either. Like, I don't know what the point.
Wow. I can't even see them. Oh God, they're everywhere. Oh God. When you get to see the problem with this surface is I can't see. I literally have not been able to see a glass, like a, like a clear glass. If it's in the peripheral of my vision, it just is invisible. And I'm if I go down, let me see what I can do with this. Wait a second, do I have the ability to adjust? I don't. If you get down close enough, and I mean real close, like upside down close to the surface, you might see the extent of how many of these fucking things there are there. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up now. This has been 11 minutes of a fucking hunt for Red October in meticulously nice shape, considering it's almost as old as me. And this, that fuck you thing. I, I was hoping those were like eighth inch fucking beads, but apparently they're real tiny.